Jeez, that always gets me every time. Hey everybody, Fox Rose here, and we are back with a new Let's Play series. This is of Klonoa Empire of Dreams. And this series is going to be a slight bit different because we're taking a break from Mario and Luigi for now. And this is one of the games that I got off of the Virtual Console for the Wii U. It wasn't that much, but it was definitely worth the, the purchase. And we are going to be doing a Let's Play of this game in its entirety. And yes, we're going to create a new file. Deep. That is definitely deep, dude. Okay then, this is already interesting. I didn't even bother reading the description, I just played the original Klonoa as a kid and I have it on my PS3 now, so it's always interesting to see these kinds of things. Okay... Yikes! This guy's just a downer. That's a good question. I'm not liking that dude in the green. Well then. So just because of the fact that I've played Klonoa a lot as a kid, I'm going to tell you this right now. We're going to be doing two to three levels per Let's Play episode. And this is a really easy game to play in terms of control. But it's going to be different for me because I've never played on the Wii U before. And I've only played the one for the PlayStation 1. The demo that was on one of the PlayStation Experience discs for PS2. And I played the... I think I played the second one on the Game Boy. Uh, Klonoa Dream Champ Tournament, I think that's what it was. Pretty sure I still have it. But regardless, here we go. I believe we're finally getting into the actual game. Um... Yeah, here we go. Okay, Gaza land. Okay, we're actually in control now, it seems. Uh, let's go. Fighting City Gaza land. Okay. Well then. I don't stand a chance, and you're the ones that are refusing to go up here? Alright then. Okay, the basic thing for the stars is, like, a special collection bonus. 
like 100%ing. That's this ver this game's version of 100%ing, as far as I recall. Jeez, this is such a cartoony art style, even for like a rated E game. Oh, it wasn't the it wasn't the star things. It was the um these little gems that I was talking about just now. Um, they've never really offered anything in terms of the gameplay, but in terms of collecting, it's just a 100% completion bonus. Thank God, this is bringing back so many flippin' memories. I haven't played this game, any of these games, in a long time. For those of you who are curious, um, the thing that got me into video games was, in fact, Sonic the Hedgehog. It was the first video game I ever played, and then my cousins came along and they had a PlayStation. The original PlayStation, not the PlayStation 2 at the time. Because, for one, the PlayStation 2 didn't exist at the time. God, I feel old just for remembering the PlayStation 2 nowadays. But yeah, it was a really unique kind of thing back then because we all enjoyed platformers. My cousins were real big fans of uh, Mario back then, and my older of the two cousins was huge into the Nintendo 64. After he got the PlayStation 1. That's all he had to do for fun, really. Just go to his friend's house and play the Nintendo 64. And real quick, yeah, we got all 30 of them there. And we didn't even get hit once. I know that's going to change very soon. Not in this level, but it's going to change. Oh, sweet! Blocks! I forgot about these little guys. These are just like the ordinary dudes, except... There's no consequence for them being used. As they will come back. They won't be destroyed whatsoever, and they're very useful in this game for some sections, from what I remember. Yeah, like this right here. Can't get that one without. See? Pretty cool, huh? This may be a platformer, but it's one of those few platformers that does puzzles in general right. And keep in mind, I've been playing video games since I was two years old, so I know what I'm talking about. People can debate Portal was like the he game to capitalize on the puzzle aspect of games nowadays and made them truly popular again, whereas I would disagree. I think it's more games like platformers like these that did the job. I mean, what can I say? You live and die by the classics, man. I mean, look at music, we wouldn't be anywhere near the kind of stuff we are now if it weren't for people like Mozart. Mozart, whatever the fuck you want to call him. I've heard some people call him Mozart. Yeah, Mozart. I know it's weird, but that's actually what I've heard some people call Mozart. you. <coughs> so as you guys can see, three hits and you're done. But the thing with this game is, if I recall correctly, um, you can go through a good chunk of it without having to worry about that. So it makes the game a lot more fun. Alright, last level for the today. And we'll get to we'll get to uh, 
the end of this, and then that'll be it for today. Keep in mind, this is one of the first games in the in what I'm going to call the uh, Virtual Console series. And what that means is I can only play a game from the Virtual Console on the Wii U. It's not that I have limitations, it's just a challenge to myself, really. That's all it really is. There are some people I know who will be misinterpreting that as a, oh, he's only going to be playing one kind of game because he only has that kind of console. No, it's because of the fact that I'm someone who grew up with classics and the Game Boy and everything. Again, it feels so old saying that. But I keep bringing it up because of the fact that that's probably the best thing that's going to get people to want to watch your content, right? Like, play shit that they played themselves as a kid or something like that. Stupid fudger. Yeah, see? This game never did a good job at, like, explaining certain things to the player. Which is where it lacks, and I think that's why some people didn't quite like it as much as others did. I mean, I'm one of those people that just, like, if it's a good platformer, like Banjo and Kazooie, which I've never played Banjo and Kazooie, or even, um, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, even though I want to so bad. Um, I've always thought that they were good platformers in themselves, because it's just that kind of that kind of vibe you get from them. Hmm. I'm trying to debate if I want to do one more thing and then get going. Or end it here. I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and if you like the video, hit the like button and let me know. Comment in the comment section for more ideas. Subscribe if you're new. Favorite if you want. <laughs> Who favorites videos nowadays? Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, Dragon Mode!